Hi, today I want to show you some quick tips for how you can make your line edit activate automatically and not show an annoying border around it when doing so. First of all, I have a center container here spanning the entire thing. Add a line edit to that. Give it some text. I'm just going to treat this as a player name because that's where I first uh, needed this. There we go. Anonymous by default. Set it to expand to the text length. It needs a theme. I'm going to save the theme here. That's fine. Custom theme. Open the theme and set a font for it. New dynamic font. I just downloaded one of fonts.google.com. Ah, it's not open it. There it is. Then you can just take the TTF file or whatever file you get in there and just read it in here. Make it a bit bigger. Let's say 64. That's actually readable. Two things that bug me about this. First of all, it's not letting me type by default. When I first start the scene, I can't just type. And even if I click it, it adds a blue border around it, which is also only really necessary for keyboard navigation. But I want this in a scene separately where you just enter the player name, so you don't need any of that. So let's disable it. First of all, inside the theme, we can say edit theme, add class items, get the items for a line edit. Go in here on line edit and styles, focus and add a new style box empty. We go in here, that disables the blue border around it, it's not visible anymore. It now looks the same whether it's clicked or not. Now to make the carrot appear by default. Attach a script to this. Funk, ready, grab focus. Grab focus makes sure this thing is selected by default and you can see the carrot is right here. But I'd actually like the carrot to be at the end. So to make sure that's working as well, let's just say set cursor position. Len of text. Te text. Okay. And there we go. Now the cursor is positioned at the end. And I can I don't have to click anything, I can immediately start typing or deleting things. Also, I want the carrot to blink. I don't like it like this. Let's do that. Let's go in here. Carrot, blink, on. And I just think that looks a little bit nicer. To really bring it to the player's attention that, yeah, you can type now. This thing is active. It's right here. You can type. There isn't anything else to do anyway. Even if I click outside, it's not doing anything. Because there aren't any other elements here. From this scene, you can do stuff like just say, on text entered. Go away. On text entered, just connect it up and say get tree change scene and get some other scene. I don't actually have a scene here to change to right now. Change to the same scene again, I guess. Let's type something first because if I press enter it's going to disappear because the scene reloads from scratch. Just as an example of changing scene on pressing enter. That's really all there is to this. This will be all for today. Bye.